Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. As you can see, I'm Joe Boric, and please like, comment, and subscribe, and let us know what you want to see in future videos. This is unfortunately likely going to be the second to last preview to a Phillies game of the year, unless if we pull off a miracle and really get going here. But our Phillies have Zach Wheeler going up against Curtis, and a funny story about Curtis is not so funny, but John Curtis was a member of the Phillies organization last season. And um, he was a pitcher that Mac Lentak let go, and it last July, and now has pitched pretty good for the Tampa Bay Rays this year. And uh, typical, right? I mean, we kind of expect that the Phillies let go of pitching, but today we need a miracle and to win both games in order to find a way to get in. We got very helped by the Padres walking it off, or lucky by the fact that the Giants also have a struggle in bullpen. Whatever way you want to spin it, there. But either way, we need a lot of help and need to get going tonight and have to win two and then hope for a miracle. We have Kutch playing left field, batting first. Bohm playing first, batting second. Harper at DH, batting third. Real Muto at catcher, hitting fourth. I do like the lineup and the order it's in today. Segura fifth at third. Shortstop Didi, who needs to be re-signed big time, hitting sixth. Phil Gosson in right seventh. Scott Kingery playing second tonight, eighth, and then Roman Quinn, the center fielder tonight out of the platoon three of Kingery, Hazley, and Quinn playing center. So we really need guys to come up big. We need Boehm to continue to be big, Harper to continue to be big. Kingery looked good last game. We need him to continue to look pretty solid at the plate, which I thought he's done decently overall since coming back. Obviously, um, some don't agree with me, but uh, I believe that he's looked better at the plate. His on-base percentage was 100 points above his batting average, which means he saw pitches pretty decently. He just wasn't able to fully get it going, but I do believe he will be okay. But we really need guys like JT, Gene, Didi. But, I mean, our offense has been fine. What we need the most, which I talked about with my good friend Zach, a very uh, smart sports mind, um, is the bullpen to do something worth a darn. I mean... They've been the reason we've been losing all season. If it's not them, it's because our rotation screws up a certain game. So the Phillies really just need to get going. Hopefully that can come together, as the good old song says, come together right now. Well, the Phillies need to come together right now in the final two games and hope and pray for a miracle. That's the only way they're going to get in. But also, we just want to keep seeing guys like Bohm, continue to rake. I want to see Didi continue to do well. We need to pay him along with JT. If we don't, those are very dumb moves. But I also don't think if we miss the playoffs, Matt Glentak will be here past Monday, and if not Monday, Tuesday. I almost guarantee he will be gone by one of those two days. I just completely believe that is going to happen. But we got to try to hone it in tonight. If he, If we somehow get a miracle and get in, I still think he will be gone unless if we go past the wild card round. But... They got Randy of Rose Arena hitting first, DHing Brandon Lau at second, hitting second, and Willie Adams at short, hitting third. Yoshi Tosugo playing third, hitting fourth. And then Mike Perseu at first, hitting fifth. Kiermaier sixth in center field. Manuel Margo seventh. Brett Phillips eighth. And then Mike Zunino ninth for the Rays. Obviously, they took advantage of our pen. It's like everyone's been saying all year. It seems like teams just wait to get to our bullpen and then just start teeing it off. Uh, we can't continue to let that happen. Hopefully, we really get going today and we sharpen up and we're able to at least have a good closeout and solace to this uh, disappointing season because of our bullpen and the inability of the front office to be able to fully put the ending pieces of a puzzle together. We have some good pieces here, as Andrew alluded to on Chasing the Pennant Podcast. Please check them out on Always Next Year Podcast Network over here on YouTube and then at Chasing the Pennant on Spotify and all the other good places like Apple Podcasts to get your podcast. But this has been a quick look ahead. Hopefully not. We can get a miracle and it won't be the second to last of the season, but not likely. Zach Wheeler starting. I think he'll go out with a bang along with Nola tomorrow, so at least we got our two aces to close out the season. Have a great, safe, and pleasant night, everybody. Enjoy your weekend. Let's go Phillies. Let's ring that bell and get some Philly wins, at least to close out this season in some style, and hopefully have some guys continue to play for their jobs next year and look solid like Parker to play for a bullpen job. If he can pitch well these final two games after only struggling in about two games, well, actually three games, excuse me, total, 
I would debate bringing him back on a very cheap one-year deal. It's not like he's going to be paid a lot at this point of his career. So um, that's, but other than him, and then obviously you need to keep JoJo, who you need to continue to develop. There's not much you need to keep in that bullpen. Maybe Hale, since he looked good, and he's also a little bit over a league minimum relief pitcher, so there's no uh, risk to keeping him. Uh, But either way, the Phillies need to, be able to find p- pitching, and that's the big key I wanted to say at the end of this video, as we know, and I'm going to do videos once the offseason starts of guys I think we should go after in the free agency as relievers and as starters, and I'm hoping I can get some people to join for those videos like Andrew and also other friends potentially as well. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day. Let's go Phillies. Let's close the season out with two straight wins. Close it out with a bang and close it out with ringing the bell quite a few times, hopefully by Alec Bohm, maybe Quinney, and then Kingery can continue to get going. I want to see guys continue to get going, and then I think Quinn next year will do best by being in a super utility role, which I will explain more in future videos. But this has been Sports Fanatic News. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day, everyone. Peace out.